fun. It means to me that we're putting the world back together. It's a multidisciplinary educational approach for students to be able to learn about the importance of environmental issues. It's cool because we're all coming together and we're doing one thing that's awesome for the environment. Since 2002, the Fairchild Challenge has been inspiring a new, diverse generation of environmentally minded students and scientists, encouraging them to become active participants in protecting their environment. The Fairchild Challenge, which began at Miami's Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden, is a competition that gives students from pre-kindergarten through high school the opportunity to create environmentally themed projects in a variety of subject areas, all while studying and investigating their natural surroundings. Schools around the globe are embracing the Fairchild Challenge through all types of projects that explore some of the most important local, national, and international environmental issues of our time. Students can design, write, perform, debate, engineer, interview, and discover using the environment as the common theme. Every single student is aware of what's going on with the Fairchild Challenge and how they can make an impact in the environment themselves. On an ordinary school day, this elementary school is buzzing with activity. All 632 students here, from pre-K through fifth grade, participate in the Fairchild Challenge through art and writing projects, a school garden, a recycling program, and much more. All right, now we're gonna slide the lid closed. We wanna make sure it's closed so nothing falls out, and we give it a turn. Eileen Bogert's second grade class is getting first-hand experience creating compost. Let's look for some twigs and leaves that we can add to our compost bin to help us make great soil. Dried leaves, twigs. Getting kids to take a closer look at their environment through art is Patricia Cummins' contribution to the Fairchild Challenge. That would look very nice somewhere. What do you think, in the middle? Yeah. I'm Spoonville. I am a peacock. Scenes like this are repeated across the globe. High school students clean up green space and are planting an edible garden. Last year, this school finished in second place in the South Florida School Garden Competition. <laughs> students conduct scientific research and look for solutions to serious environmental issues. What the challenge allows me to do it allows my students to take other avenues other than academic avenues with which to approach those issues. So what I'm trying to do is make it so our students know the ramifications of us bringing more people down here and what will happen if we destroy more of the Everglades. The mission of the Fairchild Challenge is to foster an interest in the environment while influencing and empowering a new diverse generation of people with a better understanding of the natural world around them. The value of the program is being recognized throughout the globe. Through the Fairchild Challenge Satellite Partner Program, students all over the world can participate too. These middle school students have created such a great green space, it inspires kids in the youth orchestra and motivates young artists to sit among the plants and flowers to draw. They have an opportunity to create this beautiful space in the garden so they're out here planting and learning about, actively learning about the plant life as they're out here. Middle schoolers also learn culture and history as they relate to plants. We mostly know about species from other continents and countries. And after, you know, the day's work is done, it's a beautiful garden in the end. It just basically gives us freedom to show them what we believe that Fairchild represents to us. More than 150,000 students and teachers worldwide compete in the Fairchild Challenge each year. The best projects from the participating schools are judged by members of the community. Winners receive cash prizes of up to $1,000 to continue environmental education in their schools. 